Hi y'all. Hippo Bites here. So y'all wanted to learn how to make pesto. I'm gonna show you. Secret recipe, don't tell nobody. First we start, little wine. Gotta get it going. Next up, we have basil, yeah? Plenty. I picked it already because it's just easier that way. And I use two types of basil. I use sweet basil, which it's kind of tired because it's hot out. And I use a Thai basil. Two to one, yeah? So two parts sweet basil, one part Thai. The Thai basil, you can tell it's Thai basil if you don't fucking look at the goddamn sign. Thai basil has purple through the stem. That's how you tell it's Thai basil. A little bit different shape on the leaf too, but easiest to tell just by the stem. So when I pick it, you want to make sure you want, you don't want to get any of the stems, yeah? The stems, shit's fucking bitter. Ain't nobody got time for bitter shit in their life. So pick the stems off. You just want to pick it off and just go from there. You leave a little extra leaf it's on. On the stem it's fine. You'll be picking basil for fucking days. Trust me, that's why I pick my shit ahead of time. Because y'all don't want to look at my face for that long. Just pick the basil. Like I said, you want to get the stem. Leave the stem on the basil. On the stick, if you will. Just pick it off. And you're all good. So I have a little bit of basil here. Like I said, it's two part, two one. Use any kind of measurement you want. Who gives a shit? It's all good. So I have my basil. One of my other ingredients, generally in pesto, people use pine nuts. But I'm a broke bitch, so I ain't using no pine nuts. I use macadamia nuts, they're cheaper. And over here you can't really see, but I got a pan. So I gotta roast my macadamia nuts in a pan. Dry pan, just roast it up. It's all good. Cause you wanna get a nice color, you gotta bring the oils out in the macadamia nuts. It makes everything sweeter. So I use two to one. Thai basil, it's a little spicy. Gotta get the spice. Sweet basil, that's sweet shit. Get it good. So then, I got a little cutting board. And I have some lemons. Because I use lemon juice in mine. The acidity from the lemon. It's always good to do it. So I use lemons. You see I have three here. Three little lemons. I might only use two. I don't know. It's all by the measurements, all by eye. From there. And I have some garlic here. It's a little clove, little bulb. I'm gonna use two, three. So I'll just pick a couple off and I'm gonna skin them. It's easier if you just smash it and be done with it. Cause then you see, look at that, boom. Skin comes off nice and easy. Nice and easy. Ain't nobody got time to fucking do this shit right. It's good. Good, there you go. You see? So I throw my garlic right there. Done. It's gonna be a quick and easy five minute pesto. And y'all fucking be crying. Make pesto, make pesto. Here you go. I'll make pesto. So, oh, this lemon has seeds. So you're gonna wanna grab a strainer too, just in case the lemon has a shitload of seeds. Cause you don't wanna be grinding up no seeds. I'll wait to cut that one. And then like I said, I have some oranges too. This is my secret ingredient because I like to make it nice and sweet. And I just cut one for right now because that shit looks fucking juicy. My god. Moist as shit. I'm over here just roasting fucking macadamia nuts. It's all good. So you want to roast the macadamia nuts like I said. You're going to bring out the oils. The oils are, that's what counts. To bring out the oils, it brings out the flavor. Then I have my basil already picked, ready to go. And just roast away. You have your shit done already, so you can take some time. I got a little blender here, cheap bullshit. And I threw my garlic already. Gonna throw my basil here in a minute. But before I throw the basil, I want to put the macadamia nuts on the bottom. Because they'll blend better. I don't like to leave chunky macadamia nuts. I like my pesto nice and smooth. So you can eat it with a spoon. It's so sweet. Oh my god, you're going to smack your mama, trust me. Jesus Christ, I have shit on my hands. So, 
Had a little garlic on my hands, just gonna wash up real quick. It is what it is. Keep going. Oh, the pan's getting hot now. You could have done it quicker if I had uh, preheated this shit, but I didn't. Who gives a shit? Have fun. Have fun. That's the main part about making pesto. So I use my garlic, my macadamia nuts are roasting, and my basil here. Have lemons, oranges. I also use a little balsamic vinegar. Adds to the sweetness, makes it quite nice. You're also gonna need a little salt, not too much, because the Parmesan cheese you're gonna put, I'm gonna put here in a bit, gives it a lot of the salt, so you don't need too much salt. And then I use olive oil. You can use any kind of olive oil. You can use extra virgin. I don't know if I want to use extra virgin because don't nobody need that shit that tight. Virgin, just regular olive oil, cheap, whatever, it's all good. It's all about the process and just making it right. And yes, I am sticking my hand here in the fucking pan. <laughs> Gotta be careful, I don't want to burn myself. Just roast up the macadamia nuts. You want to smell it. You're going to wait for a smell. It's a toasty, sweet smell. And then you don't want to burn them, so don't burn the nuts. No, don't burn the nuts. Just keep going. So I have everything already ready. I kind of prepped everything kind of before. So it's all good. While you're waiting on the nuts, it's time. We're serving today with Pinot Noir because it goes with everything. So we're having a little Pinot Noir now. Take a wine break. Oh shit. Don't burn them. They did a little bit, oh well. You always want to keep rotating and keep kind of stirring the nuts because with the oil they'll burn so quick and you don't want that. I spilled one. There you go. So I had that on high heat just to roast them. I just turned the heat off just because they're pretty much ready to go. Just waiting, here we go, there you go. You want a nice color. You can kind of see that, yeah? So now they're roasted macadamia nuts. And I just buy the cheap macadamia nuts from the store. If you buy the ones that are smaller pieces, just cook them a little less. Buy the ones bigger pieces, cook them a little more. It's all good. So that's done. So you see I have my garlic here on the bottom. I put my macadamia nuts next. Now I'm gonna start and put some basil. Because the basil is what makes the pesto. And I had a bit of basil in here. So you see? The bowl pretty much full of basil. And you see how I'm just going to pack it in. It's good. Don't worry about it. Your blender will blend. If it doesn't and burns up, well then fuck. You got a problem. So and then I have my strainer here. I'm going to squeeze my lemons right into my strainer. And then with the lemons, if you're smart and you want to get a lot of juice, roll them on the counter and apply pressure. Don't apply too much because you'll rip them shit apart. I did one earlier. You just want to squeeze your lemons in. Try and get every, all the juice you can out of it. Oh fuck. I missed a piece of basil. There you go. And you never want to throw the lemons in the garbage. Put them down the disposal. That clean shit out good. I just keep going. This is two lemons. These are not too juicy, so I'm probably going to do all three lemons here. And they'll go down the disposal. Because it cleans everything, acidity, makes the kitchen smell good. Yeah, this shit. No fucking juice in these bitches. Just squeeze the juices out. This is a quick and easy five minute pesto. And you notice the cheese isn't out yet. I always add the cheese last. Two recents. Recent number one. It's cold. You gotta keep it cold. Recent number two. I like all these ingredients to get nice and smooth. So you get all these ingredients nice and smooth and I like the cheese to stay a little more whole. Cause I'm cheap and I don't buy the brick. I buy the, I'm cheap and I'm lazy. I buy the one that's already fucking traded. Yeah, there you go. That's good on the lemon juice there. And these oranges are friggin' juicy. So, 
And these are local oranges. You can buy any kind of oranges. You can even use orange juice. Nobody will know. Trust me. So, squeeze half my orange there. And I'm just going to do a little bit. And the oranges too. I'm just going to put that shit right down the disposal. Oh yeah, that's good. Oranges too. So I got my garlic. I got three cloves of garlic. I bought three little bags of basil from the farmer's market. Two were sweet, one was Thai. About a cup or so of macadamia nuts. Juice from three lemons. Juice from one orange, and that's the secret. And then balsamic vinegar. Cheap shit, you don't need to use super good stuff. Just you see that? Just boop, boop, boop. That's it. All you gotta do. Easy money. Quick and easy. And then you take your lid of the blender. All in the blender. One pot wondered. Fuck it. I take the little lid off. The little cap, I take it off. Because you emulsify everything together. So I usually will just put my hand... <laughs> start it nice and slow. Maybe I'm gonna... And I put my hand just to make sure it doesn't... Blow up all over the goddamn place. And shove my hand in it. It's clean. Who gives a shit? I'm the one that's gonna eat it anyways. And then, put your lid back on. So you emulsify the pesto together. So you have all your ingredients. The olive oil, like I said, you can use any kind of olive oil you want. Virgin, extra virgin. Nobody wants it that tight though. Just regular old olive oil. Put the blender on high. And I emulsified a little bit, but this shit didn't want to go. So I'm going to take a spoon. Make sure you turn off the blender when you mix it. I made a mistake once that left to keep going. And shit. Pulling wood chips out of that bitch. So I just kind of shove everything down. And then I'm going to put it on again. And I'm going to pour, slowly pour the olive oil in. You slowly pour the olive oil in. I know I got fucking loud. Deal with it. But it wasn't really moving, so I'm gonna mix it up a little more. So it's almost good at that point. You almost have a really nice pesto. I'm oh, gonna take a break. Shit's hot in here. Then I put my little lid back on. I'm gonna slowly put a little more. So I have the pesto incorporated, if you will. The basil, the olive oil. It's a little thinner than I would have liked, but it's okay, because I still have the cheese to add. And the salt. The cheese, I left it in the fridge. Forgive me, I'm turning around. Then we're going to add cheese. This is, I don't know, a cup or so. And I'll add more if it needs more. But the cheese, because it's super cold too, it'll thicken it up. And I'm just gonna whip whip real quick. Because I shouldn't need any more olive oil. There you go. There you go. This shit's gonna be fucking good. Oh shit. Put the lid on, because I don't want to be cleaning up fucking pesto all over the place. And I don't think you do either. There you go. That shit's gonna be fucking good. Pesto. Simple as that. Got a little cheese on my hand, so I'm gonna wipe that off real quick. And that's it. So all you gotta do, look at that pesto. You ready? You ready to fucking cry? Look at this. Jeez. Oh, 
All you need is some bread. Holy shit, that's good. Some bread, dip it in, and you are good to go. I'm gonna use this one too because I'm out of little bowls. I'm gonna refrigerate it. You can freeze it. Thank God we don't have any visitors coming because I'm gonna eat this all today probably. Dip, oh shit, I don't put too much. Dip some bread in it. But if you stay tuned, next time, I'm gonna show you another thing. I'm gonna make a little chicken dish, I think. And I'm gonna put some pesto, I'll make a chicken pesto, which is one of my specialties. And you fucking cry, it's so goddamn good. Jesus Christ. This shit is so good, you can drink it. Sweet, not sour. Forgive me, I'm gonna get even a spoon. This is how good this shit is, watch. Mm. I was up, oh my god. Oh my god, that's fucking good. Now you know why people cry for my pesto. Fantastic, amazing recipe, super easy. Doesn't take any time. I spilled a bit, so I had to get rid of it. I don't want to look it up the counter. I could, but I don't want to. All you gotta do. So like I said, stay tuned next time. I'm gonna show you what to do with this pesto. We're gonna make a chicken dish. It's gonna blow your fucking mind away. Have a good one. Remember, you make pesto, you drink Pinot Noir. It goes with everything. Have a good one.